what exactly are DLCs? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Uh, DLC stands for discrete log contract. And um, essentially what it is, it's, it's, a, it's a smart contract on Bitcoin without the smart. Um, you know, it's a contract on Bitcoin that allows for you to um, uh, really enter into, you know, a very simple contract between you, a counterparty, and the Oracle, um, which, which essentially allows for you to get exposure to some type of financial tool. So that could be a bet, that could be an options contract, that could be a futures contract you know, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, and what's great about it is on chain, it actually just looks like a two of two multi-sig. And so, you know, it's just kind of the same idea of lightning. If you want to close out of this contract early, you just do a, um, an early close with your counterparty. Otherwise upon expiry, the Oracle goes and kind of re releases a signature, which allows you to close out of that two of two multi-sig. So, you know, it's, it's a really, really simple contract. Um, there's, you know, very limited risk that like, there's no risk of, kind of smart contract hacks. And really the only thing you need to trust in the system um, is obviously the Oracle, because we need some type of outside data to be able to report on, you know, what is the Bitcoin price or what was the outcome of this bet in order to be able to close out those contracts. But one of the really nice properties of DLCs is that um, the Oracle doesn't actually need to know about the existence of the contracts. And so you kind of have this um, Oracle that is blind, that can be blind in a sense, and just really reporting on the price and then other people that are, you know, making bets based on that information. Um, so, yeah. Very cool. Are there like ideas that you guys have to minimize trust in the Oracle, like in the future? Like, can, can you theoretically have multiple Oracles that like the, the DLC relies on? So you're not even trusting one exchange or one person, whoever the entity is that's updating the Oracle. Is there a way to trust multiple Oracles? Yeah, absolutely. If if you check out the um on the DLC like specification, there's actually um like a specification for multi oracle. Um, and so we have plans to implement that down the line. You know, you might set it up as like a two of three or three of five oracles. Um, I think what we need to do in order to implement that in the app right now is just do some benchmarking around um because uh, for all these you know signatures that you need to create, you need to create X number of more signatures when there's multi oracle. And so just making sure we can do that in a really great user experiences, kind of the only thing holding us back from doing that right now, but definitely something we want to implement down the line.